Thank you very much. A much different feeling than the last time a Stanley Cup final game was played at Madison Square Garden, along with Scott Morris and Nick Kiprios and Doug McClain. For the first time in the 2014 championship series, the Los Angeles Kings did not trail in a game. Well, there's a lot of questions about the starts that Quick has had in the previous two games. Well, tonight, his start was good, and it got stronger as the game went on. The goaltending was exceptional in the LA Kings. Was he tested a whole lot? No, but he made key saves at key times. Nothing, nothing big saves. One, nothing big saves. He saw the puck. He found the puck. No rebounds. I thought he was as solid as I've seen him all playoffs. And we've seen him make acrobatic saves, and he did a little bit of that. The agility was on display, but he looked so in control, square to the puck all the time. And to Max's point, finding the pucks through crowds, he was. it was a clinic. It was weird the way the LA Kings finally had an advantage on the scoreboard in this series with the way it developed. Well, Mac talked about game two, how they never really recovered the New York Rangers off the King goal. In many ways, the Carter goal absolutely stunned the New York Rangers. I thought, again, they had a good first period for the third game in a row, but yet the Carter goal with less than a second seemed to rattle them to the point where they never recovered. What happened to start the second period? An icing 30 seconds in. What happened in the first five minutes? Two penalties, one to Ryan McDonough, and the second one to stall. And the next thing you know, the Muzzin goal scored on a power play. And from there, Mac, they never recovered. Hard pressed to find a forward that really challenged offensively for the Rangers tonight, and that was frustrating. You know, all of a sudden, Girardi keep, tries to keep the puck in to keep it alive to create some offense. Boom, two on one on a great play by Clifford. And Richards, who is getting better every game, by the way, and that's getting scary for the New York Rangers. Much different level of performance from game one to three from the Los Angeles Kings' top unit. Yeah, no question. The Kopitar line, we talked about it game two. They inflicted themselves and the re end result of that game, getting the tying goal and then arranging the winner, Dustin Brown, on the deflection. And they were awesome again tonight. Kopitar handles the puck so well. He and Brown killing penalties on the power play, setting up the Muzzin goal, getting that one going. You know, Wayne Gretzky said the other day, we mentioned it, that he said at some point this series is going to revolve around Kopitar. He also mentioned, he says, he might be the third best player in the world right now between, behind rather Crosby and Taze, and he's certainly proving it. And there's a defenseman number eight that's not far behind the best player in the world as well. And how about the role players? The play that Clifford made on the Mike Richards goal. Foot soldiers huge for the LA Kings. The two games of the Staples Center, you got the feeling that the New York Rangers could keep up with the Los Angeles Kings. Much different sense here at Madison Square Garden.